closed captioning provided by bowhunting.com. Your online hunt starts here. Win after win, trophy after trophy, and smile after smile. Matthews TV with Dave Watson. Hi, I'm Dave Watson. Welcome to Matthews TV. For the last two years, Matthews has run an online contest called My Matthews Moment. And during your Matthews moment, you get a chance to showcase to the world your special time in the outdoors. Or perhaps while you're filming your My Matthews moment, you create a special moment, like Nick Geyer from Ohio did with this incredible Robin Hood. Wow, that's good stuff. Now this year's winner of My Matthews moment is John O'Dell from Arkansas. And I couldn't think of a better place to take him than Boneyard Outfitters in Illinois. Now this is a hunt I'll never forget because we made some great memories and I had the worst chest cold I've ever had. As a matter of fact, I spent one morning laid out on the couch. And while I was on that couch, Joel Maxfield gave me a call and said that he was driving in, but he would be late. He was gonna stop to visit an old friend. An old friend, indeed. Well, cruising through Illinois on Interstate uh, 57 here, there's two things that always stand out in Effingham. is that great big huge cross and Drave's Archery. David Draves bought bows for me back in the 80s when I was selling for McPherson Archery. When we started Matthews, uh, he was one of the first dealers. In fact, he's got bow serial number 012. I'm pretty sure I built that bow, bow number 12 Matthews ever built. And he, he actually bought it sight unseen when he heard that we were talking about starting a bow company. Matt started Matthews and David said, I'm in. There's number 12. <laughs> that is that is Ma uh, Matthew's bow number 12. Matt and said he thought that was the first one that ever left the factory. It very well could be because we uh, we started Matthew's in, in May of 1992 and what we did is a lot of the, the dealers that were friends of ours and had handled McPherson over the right. years, when we started Matthew's we called up our reliable McPherson previous dealers and started selling Matthews. I bought that <laughs> bow and was a Matthews solo cam dealer before the company really ever got launched. Before so, we even got it going. <laughs> yeah, so if you can get in there ahead of that, I don't know. I don't think you can, Dave. So Joel finally makes it in and I follow his lead through some beautiful farm country. I took a very rare morning off today. I called in sick. It's only the second time I've done that in 13 years, but I mean, it's bound to happen sooner or later. And it's, and it's a real luxury because the whole time that I was a professional musician, you had no sick days. Nobody had any sick days. You could be, you could have a fever of 103 and have a bucket next to you, but you still had to do the show. Anyway, this morning I slept in, I feel a lot better. I still got a cough, but we're gonna see if we can't make it happen. I'm following Joel. And as long as Joel knows where he's going, then we're good. Gosh, I just love the, the, the rolling hills and all the farm country. I mean, this place is just a, a grocery store for white-tailed deer. 30 minutes later, I was set up in a tree stand between corn and soybeans. The afternoon looked promising until I noticed the track 20 yards behind me. Ten minutes later, I was still looking for a caboose. I was hoping Joel was having better luck, and as usual, he was. There's a, there's a little bucket of dough coming across the field there. The, uh, actually, they're coming this way. Those deer are coming this way. 
And if those deer get any closer, Joel Maxfield is going to launch an arrow. Matthews TV with Dave Watson is brought to you by Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Cunnyback, faster trigger speed, longer battery life. Lost Camo, get lost or be found. Buckmasters.com, home of the Buckmasters Nation. Rage Broadhands, put them down. Game High, hunting wear is all we do. And Matthew Solokan. Catch us if you can. Matthew's TV with Dave Watson is brought to you in part by Timney Triggers, the official archery trigger of Matthew's TV. This week we're hunting with Boneyard Outfitters in Whittington, Illinois. We had some beautiful setups, but haven't seen many deer. An old cornfield that was combined long ago. Kernels that the combine didn't get and kernels that fell when they were harvesting the corn. It's a beautiful setup here. I really like it. A perfect mixture of hardwoods and agricultural land. You know, it's the second time I've hunted with Boneyard Outfitters and I'm just so impressed by the ground that they have. Yeah, we haven't had real good luck, but we will. acres and acres of soybeans and the deer just eat them up let me find some here deer like soybeans for the same reason that you and I like soybeans they're high in protein tastes good wow I can't believe that this whole field isn't just full of deer because the soybeans are laying everywhere it's like a 150 acre bait pile you take that much food with that much land mixed with very low hunting pressure and you've got a gold mine of a honey hole for whitetail. That's why I knew I had to bring our Matthews Moment winner here. Well, when I found out I was the 2011 winner of the Matthews Moment competition, I was so excited. I mean, I couldn't wait to tell my dad and my son and that we're going to be able to celebrate and talk about Papaw on television and uh, our hunting heritage, just be able to celebrate that with you guys. And when I got the call from Dave Watson asking, where do you want to hunt? I'm thinking, this guy's asked me where I want to hunt. This is unbelievable. I don't care. I mean, he's the busy guy. You tell me what fits your schedule. I'll be excited to go anywhere. And then he said, how about Illinois? I thought, wow, I've never hunted Illinois. I, that's something on my bucket list. I've been wanting to check off. So here I am. Uh, Boneyard Outfitters started, I guess I started about four years ago. I, uh, I had fished and hunted for a living guiding for people and uh, it, it basically was a lifelong dream of me and my brothers to uh, take people fishing and hunting and to uh, and to lodge them and to make a living in the outdoors and my brother's name was Adam Lucas Johns which uh, I believe everybody here on the trip met my son Lucas that's where he got his name but uh, Adam was uh, 22 years old uh, when he passed away and uh, we hunted together uh, for years and years and years and uh, actually our logo, the Boneyard logo, is the last deer that me and my little brother shot together and we kind of always argued about who hit it. Jason, I know that Adam is very proud that you're living the dream that you two always talked about. Now let's join John O'Dell on his very first day on stand. It turns out that John is seeing the same thing that both Joel and I are seeing. That's nothing. Hi, 
Hunting late season whitetails is some of my favorite hunting because I like the cold, I like the winter, I'm from the north. You know, two feet of snow and 20 below and, and you've got deer pouring into food sources, whether it's standing beans or pit corn. Um, I just like late season because it focuses the deer on a specific food source because they need the energy. However, this hunt, we're 55, 60 degrees. There's a full moon, deer are scattered out all over the place and they're really not moving until right before dark and uh, they're done moving right after daylight. So it's pretty pretty tough sledding this hunt. We did have a little bit of action. We've seen a, a couple two-year-old bucks and, and uh, some does, but it was just a tough hunt for late season. Joel passes the time hunting, well kinda, while he waits for something to hunt. Joel tries a grunt, tries a whistle, but he just can't get this buck to stop. Yeah. Well, what a privilege it was to meet not only Dave Watson, but Joel Maxfield. The Matthews tradition, and I've been celebrating Matthews archery since the MQ32 and how excited it is to be able to win a brand new helium bow. I'm sitting there holding it, shooting it in this hunt. So exciting, and they're just down-to-earth guys. Of course we're just down-to-earth guys, especially hanging out at the condo in our pajamas. Okay, so I'm the only one really in PJs. I was sick. Matthews TV with Dave Watson, brought to you by Morel, maker of the new Matthews Field Point and Broadhead Target. Mission by Matthews. Visit us online at missionarchery.com. Hunter Specialties. For Sportsmen, by Sportsmen. And Primus. Avalon Knives. Black's Creek Guide Gear. And Luminox. Matthews TV with Dave Watson is brought to you by Team Extreme, the official site of Matthews TV. And the Gorilla Safety Harness. Get it on. This week we're hunting at Boneyard Outfitters in Illinois with our contest winner, John O'Dell from Arkansas. Now every year Matthews has an online contest at MatthewsInc.com. It's called My Matthews Moment. And the wonderful thing about My Matthews Moment is it can be anything. It can be a hunt, it can be a special day in your life, a special day in your children's life, and there's no specific length involved. Your video can be two minutes or 20 minutes long. You simply log on to MatthewsInc.com, upload your video, and the winner is selected by online voting. And the 2011 winner of the My Matthews Moment, John O'Dell, has magically appeared to my left. <laughs> Welcome, John. Well, it's great to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Tell me about your video. It's called Four Generations and Counting and just kind of briefly uh, introduce the video before we show the folks at home. Absolutely. You know, it's just my opportunity to brag on my hunting heritage. You know, I, anytime you have a chance to, to share something special in your life, I'd take that opportunity. And it all started with my dad's father-in-law, took him under his wing and took him into the outdoors. They started a hunting club in South Arkansas called Salty's Deer Club. And so uh, my dad was, became a hunter as a result of that. And then the next thing you know, he was dragging us down there and putting us in like uh, garbage bags to keep us warm on the stand when we were young, you know. And Does that work? Because I'll try it. <laughs> if a garbage bag will I work. I think it was before all this plethora of warm hunting gear really? came out, you know, in the <laughs> 70s. So, but anyway, uh, it was a great experience, you know, we kind of got the hunting bug. And uh, next thing you know, up in northern Arkansas, my dad builds a hunting cabin in Al Hollow. And, the tradition continues with my son. And so we saw this video as an opportunity to celebrate that and to celebrate new life because I have one of the most generous dads, you know, to be able to. Uh, He's given you the gift of life twice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, well, let's watch the video right now. This is called Four Generations and Counting by John O'Dell. Camo and archery tackle became second nature all because my dad's father-in-law, Papa, better known as Salty. He invested in our lives in such a way 
as to ensure a lasting tradition. And when a rare kidney disease threatened my life, my father laid his life on the line to become my donor. And after a successful transplant, the tradition continued. How blessed I've been to have had a papa who took my dad under his wings and into the outdoors, fueling a passion that would be passed on to me. And doubly blessed because of my dad's special gift of a kidney that allows me to pass it on down. I wish papa were here for me to thank him for starting all this. But like most of us, the best way we can thank those who have gone before us is to take someone out this season to share a Matthews moment. That's an excellent example of a story well told. Thank you. Do you think you're going to sign up for my Matthews moment next year? You're doing it next year? We're going to do it every year, yeah. All right. Well, it's my son's turn. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Trey. Trey. John Odell III. We call him Trey. Well, Trey, then it's your turn. Time for you to sign up at MatthewsInc.com and click on to the My Matthews Moment little icon there and uh, post your video. And now, my friend, it's time for us to go hunting. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You're very, very welcome. John. Appreciate that. Now it's time for the archery tip of the week from our friends at Lancaster Archery Supply. When it comes to shooting in the wind, the problem usually isn't the projectile. The problem is aiming through the shot. Your effective range gets a little bit shorter when, it, when it's real windy out, and the arrow isn't affected that much by the wind. So what you want to do is just aim hard and get the, you know, just practice patience throughout the shot to where the wobble zone gets smaller and your pin's floating around in approximately the right area and just execute the shot like you would with no wind. Patience during a shot in the wind is very, very important. The amount that the wind will actually affect the arrow is minimal compared to how difficult it is to aim in those high winds. Welcome back to Matthews TV with Dave Watson. For information on hunting with Boneyard Outfitters, call 618-927-3432 or log on to BoneyardOutfitters.com. Warm days and a full moon made this a very difficult hunt, but if anyone was going to get an opportunity, we wanted John to get it. And you know what? John pulled it off. Looks like we got, got our first deer coming through. Hopefully they'll give us a shot. We did it, we did it. Our first big game animal here in Illinois. It's my first hunt of any kind in Illinois, thanks to Matthews. And thank you for the new helium bow. I am soaring high with helium right now, baby. The adrenaline is pumping. Mature doe on the ground. Can't wait to go check her out. John gives the doe quite a while, unhooks his fall restraint, and carefully gets out of the tree. Well, we gave her a couple of hours. We're gonna go up here and see what the rage did. So come along with us. When I got here, I was given my first Illinois tags and I, there was a buck tag and a doe tag. And a trophy really is whatever the conditions provide. 
And I was so excited when those three doe come in and, and filtered into bow range and to make that great shot and to enjoy some tasty Illinois venison. Right here, good blood. Good blood, I got Jason on the way to help me here. Arrow right here. Looks like she goes right over these limbs here. Hey, did, John. Hey, doing great. My doing first great. Illinois trophy. Congratulations. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Good job. I am excited. So we got good blood, I see. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's see if we can find her. You want to lead the way. All right. Looks like the rage left us a good trail. There she is, guys. Look at the white belly. Woo! <laughs> yes, my first hunt in Illinois in the helium scores, baby. Boy, how blessed we were. You know, we've this is the fifth day. We've had a tough hunt. It's been hot. The moon's been full. You know, everything's kind of, the targets have been kind of few and far between, but we were so blessed when this doe stepped in, gave us a 40 yard shot. The helium bow delivered the arrow and the rage did the rest. And how blessed. You made, you made a good shot on her too. Uh, the, like you said, the chances have been few and far between, but we were lucky to take a mature doe. It's, doe management's always an important part of what we do uh, as outfitters. And uh, towards the end of the year, you know, a good mature doe like this, always a good opportunity. And they're wary animals, you know, an animal like this to get in bow range is just quite magical actually. It's pretty intense. My heart was pumping out of my chest, I mean, I don't think they make those this big in Arkansas, so <laughs> I'm pretty excited. This is going to eat good tonight. She will. <laughs> we'll have her on the grill here in a few hours. A good job, John. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're very yeah. welcome. There you go. There you go. And John, smile more. Smile. You're happy. All right. Okay.